Hey everybody, this is KMP from Disastrous Videos. I'm going to be talking to you about today the top five NES games that I play constantly for hours. First one on the list has to be Super Mario Brothers. I would play this for hours and hours with my dad and my brother. I was introduced to the game at three years old by my cousin Andrew. <clears throat> and back then I didn't even call it Super Mario Brothers, I actually called it a walking game. Uh, would spend <laughs> hours and hours upon trying to beat this game, got the cheats, to go to the last level. I'd probably beat it, I would say, at least once, and left it alone at the head. But I would spend this game hours and hours. I would start from like 7 o'clock in the morning, wake up my dad up, pissing him off, turn the TV on to play this game, <laughs> and play for hours. Other than this dropping to the, like, the last level, there was, I think, like a level 5 that would, but like when you could you go to, you know, there was, a, there was 2, 3, and 4. Uh, I think five and six, seven, eight. There was all these different ones of the cheats, and I would do every single one of them, even though you could have skipped to the last one. But I used to like to just constantly play the game. Second one I like to play would be Double Dragon Two. I would play this another one, hours and hours playing this. I think the farthest I got in this game, I don't, I never ever beat this game. But I would play hours and hours trying to beat it. I think I took up like a, like a forest in the game, <clears throat> trying to beat it. It, it was such a frustrating game. It would get harder and harder. Another game I probably played with my brother because there's two players. And we would meet him would play hours and hours just trying to beat it. <clears throat> it was such a classic uh, classic game to play. Third game would be Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles for the NES. <laughs> Another game I spent hours playing but never beat. I used to love the underwater boards in the game. And there was also a, one part with, uh, I think it was Rocksteady. If you play as Donatello, you go on top of this thing and just keep hitting <laughs> Rock City with your with your bow. <laughs> That's pretty much what I used to do for hours with this one. I, I was I was a big fan of turtles. I had all the turtle toys. I remember there was such a big thing in the 80s to to be involved with. Fourth game would have to be Paperboy. <laughs> what a game to sit there and just constantly it was kind of cheesy. You know, a map would come up with white houses and red houses, and the white houses you'd get to hit the paper with, or hit the door with, or a mailbox with to get points. I think the red houses, you break the windows for points? Something like that. It was such a cheesy game, but it was so fun to play. I remember you had to watch out for like tires, skateboards, uh, construction workers, cars. I think there was even tires that come down the block that would hit you, knock you off the bike. And at the end, you have to go to a training course to get to the finishing line. Such a cheesy game, but so so much fun to play. And the fifth and final game would have to be Mike Tyson's Punch Out. <laughs> I've been playing in this for hours at my cousin's house. He had the cheats to get to Tyson. <laughs> I think I could only hit Tyson once out of the whole game. I don't think I can hit him twice, but I get I just get knocked out or I hit to hit him once. It was such a hard game to play. I think the farthest I got without the cheats. Was that was so sort of Pop Pinsky? I think his name was. I think that was the farthest I got without, without using the cheats. But like, I like about the game too is every time you beat like a champion, I think it gives you like a code so you go back to where you left off. <clears throat> so you have to keep starting off from the beginning, like most of these games you had to do, because there was no saves, it was no memory cards, there, there was no hard drives to save anywhere. <laughs> so you had to always either start from the beginning. Unless you had codes to go someplace else. Well, these are my top five, guys. What I'd like to know, I'd love to know what your top five NES games were that you played for hours and hours straight. Please leave them in the comments below. I love all your feedback on this. With that, I'll see you disasters later.